<gasps> oh, me, oh, my! Today's the big day! Octonauts, to the launch bay! <laughs> Octonauts, Tweak has something very exciting planned for us today. That's right. It's time for the first ever inspection of the Gub X. Inspection? What kind of inspection? We're going to make sure that every part of the Gub X is working the way it should. I've got a whole checklist of things to test out. <sighs> that doesn't sound very exciting. It is when you do it in the midnight zone, Quasi. The Midnight Zone? Now you're talking! The Midnight Zone is the deepest part of the ocean and can be very dangerous. If the Gupex works down there, it'll work anywhere. Exactly. Now why don't we get the show on the road? Octonauts, let's do this. Okay, first things first. Let's test out the suction tires. Everyone hold on. Isn't there a, a safer way to check the suction tires? Nope. Suction tires, check. We're now entering the midnight zone. Automatic headlights, check. Let's test the backup lights. Flip that switch, will you, Cap? Uh-huh. And back on again. Whoa! Uh. Oh. <laughs> wow! Shiver oh, and whiskers! Hydrothermal vents. Captain, it looks like you had a rough landing. Everything okay down there? We're fine, Dashy, but take a look at this. Gub cameras, check. Jumping jellyfish. The black smoke coming out of those hydrothermal vents is actually really hot water. Hot enough to melt the gub. Be careful, Captain. Thanks, Shellington. <sighs> that was a close one, Tweak. How's the Gup X doing? Uh, engines are still running. Computer is online. Super tough out of shell is handling the heat just fine. Good. Let's continue the inspection away from these hydrothermal vents. Okay, Cap, activate the glider. Glider, check. You look like you've just seen a sea ghost. <sighs> Must be my imagination. Come on, Quasi. We'd better get back inside. Come on, Tweak. What was out there? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but I could have sworn I saw something white and furry climbing around on the gut. White? Furry? Oh, mateys. There's only one thing it could be. A sea yeti. Half fish, half shaggy white beast. The sea yeti lurks in the darkest depths of the midnight zone. But you'll always smell it before you see it. A sea yeti's foul breath smells like rotten eggs and is strong enough to knock out the mightiest pirate. Now that you mention it, it does smell sort of funny in here. Hmm. Note to self. Replace the air freshener. Well, see Yeti or no see Yeti, we'd better finish the inspection. There's just one more thing on my checklist, Cap. The hot cocoa machine. <laughs> well? Oh, check. That does it. The Gupex is in total and complete 100% work in order. Huh? Hmm. Sounds like we have a stowaway. Ooh, smells like it, too. <gasps> Yow! The Sea Yeti's got me! Oh! oh! I am not a Sea Yeti. I am a Yeti Crab. And my name is Klaus. <laughs> a Yeti Crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> Yeah, 
absurd as a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh, aren't they very hot and dangerous? Not for a yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock. It's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. Tweak, the brakes are out. I can't stop the ship. Oh, no. Our little friend here must have done some damage when he was looking for food in the vent. Uh, uh, I might have sniffed a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> There's no room to turn the gub around. Cap, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. The panel should be right over here. Just take it nice and easy. Yep, we've reached the control panel. Good, now hurry. Bingo! Now I just need to reconnect the red wires. Any luck, Tweak? I'm trying, Cap, but I just can't reach the wires. Oh, oh, it's hopeless. My home will be destroyed for sure. I will never eat again. <laughs> Don't worry, Klaus. We'll think of something, won't we? Klaus, there's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course! <laughs> I'm not even not a shortcut! <laughs> Yahoo! Klaus! Oh, I have come to help save my home, yeah? Oh, and your ship! Oh. <laughs> All right! All you have to do is reconnect the red wires. Oh, with my long arms and crabby claws, that should be easy! <laughs> Oh, careful! The red wire, not the blue one! Oops, I'm sorry! I cannot see you, remember? <laughs> uh, right! Captain, look! Tweak, you've got to hurry up! Okay, left a bit. No, right a bit. Captain, we're going to crash in five... No, don't cut the wire! Four! Whoops! Three! Come on, mateys! Two! Ta -da! Cap, the brakes are back! Oh, well done, Captain! Oh, me or my! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> Way to go, little fella! Oh, smells like home! And just in time for dinner! Oh. <laughs> so tasty, yeah? Huh? Thank you for all the ride! And thank you for all your help, Klaus. Goodbye. And goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Good work today, Octonauts. The Yeti Crab is back home, the hydrothermal vents are safe, and the Gubex is in ship shape. There's just one thing left. Ah, oh, what's that, matey? Is there anything we can do about this smell? Hey, so? Uh, Quasi? <laughs> <laughs>